Yeah, fire weather uh, forecasting is primarily focused on um, identifying the conditions that are conducive for fire weather. And so um, from, from that perspective, we look at a few key uh, weather elements. The first being um, relative humidity or, or how dry the air is. So fire uh, tends to uh, propagate much better when the weather conditions are dry. And so we evaluate the humidity levels in the atmosphere and then can translate that into uh, potentially how dry um, the ground conditions are like, whether it's uh, wheat or crops or grass or trees. Um, the second thing that's really important is understanding wind. And so we uh, will forecast wind conditions, both the sustained wind, but also wind gusts. And then it's also very important to understand the direction that the wind is um, is blowing from so that we can start to measure both spread uh, capabilities once a fire were to form. But uh, primarily humidity and wind are the two main factors. So the way that we uh, start to forecast is, uh, number one, having a really good observation network of the weather that is occurring right now. Uh, most of that is done by utilizing uh, hardware, weather stations or sensors that are placed um, across the landscape. And so uh, those are, are constantly measuring temperature 